I am pleased to announce the release and availability of MusicPad for Song Surgeon. With MusicPad, you can create, store, and recall written notes or comments, tablature, and music notation all within Song Surgeon. If you're practicing a new song, taking a lesson, trying to transcribe music, or just simply trying to figure out a difficult segment or riff, you can now keep all of your written documentation within Song Surgeon. MusicPad was built with flexibility in mind. And whether you're playing the guitar, the trumpet, the violin, doesn't really matter what instrument. MusicPad should accommodate the needs you have for creating tabs or music notation. Let's take a look at some of the types of information you can use in MusicPad. Here at the top you can see standard music notation or sheet music as most people would call it. This is something that was created in MusicPad. As we move down we have a type of guitar tablature. This tablature was copied and pasted into MusicPad. Here is another type of guitar tablature commonly called chord tablature because the chords are written above the lyrics as you can see here and here and here and down here for example. And Here is yet another type of guitar tablature. When I say another I say that because this tablature was created in MusicPad whereas this one and the previous one as I had mentioned were tablatures that were copied and pasted into Song Surgeon. If we scroll down even further here are some drum tabs, here are some harmonica tabs, here is even some trumpet tablature. So as you can see MusicPad is very diverse and very flexible and can accommodate almost any type of instrument that you play or that you might be interested in using to transcribe and save it within Song Surgeon. You may have already surmised from what I've mentioned above that there are two ways in which you can use tabs and music in MusicPad. One is to create them and the second is to copy and paste them into MusicPad. So let's take a very quick look on how that happens. First of all I'm going to insert a new page here at the bottom created that page here we are the first thing we're going to demonstrate here is the copying and pasting method so let's go ahead and find a website I've already found something here I'm gonna grab this tablature I'm just gonna take the first part of it here control C to copy it let's go back to music pad I'm gonna click this little button here which is a text block button I'm gonna open this up a little more double click it to edit it control V to paste and, and there you have it. We have the tablature already in MusicPad. If you wanted to give that a title, for example, we could grab a hold of this and slide it down a little bit, use this simple text button, and I don't even remember the song title here, so I'm just going to call it example title. I'm going to change this to maybe 26, going to bold it, click OK and go ahead and move this up to the top and as you can see we now have a tablature that we've created and copied and pasted here into MusicPad. So let's go ahead now and insert another page. Again at the end created that page here it is. Now let's say we want to actually create tabs ourselves in MusicPad. So we're going to go ahead and, and do that real quickly as a demonstration. Oops, wrong one. Here we go drag this across we're going to be doing guitar so I want six strings there we go I want to just slide this a little bit and I'm going to put this in the quick text insert mode and then we're going to start creating tabs here 17 B so there's a band 17 15. And then we're going to start a new measure, 14H for hammer on, 15P for pull off, 14.
17, 14, and there's our second measure. And we go ahead and use this button here to create of a measure break. There's one. There's two. I'm going to go ahead now and just select this whole area right here. And I want to move it down slightly. And the reason I want to do that is because I want to do insert a title. So And there you go. So that's just two very brief examples. One of creating tabs within MusicPad and the second one up here, the one we did first, which is the copying and pasting um, of information into MusicPad to use the tabs that way. Now this is not meant to be um, any type of a training video. We have new training videos on the website, so please watch those training videos to get more comprehensive information on how to use MusicPad. Somewhere near this video link, you should find some additional information which I'd like to point out to you. The first is a link for our Song Surgeon Pro customers that they can use to go to the help desk and to the download section of the help desk. And there they'll find a link to download the newest version of Song Surgeon, which is 3.100. And this, once installed, will allow them to use MusicPad. And the second link below is for everyone else, meaning both standard version owners and demo users. This link will give you some nice discounts on the purchase of Song Surgeon. And these discounts are only good for a few days, meaning through the end of the month, which is what, four, five, six days at most. So if you've been sitting on the fence, now would be a great time to consider buying Song Surgeon.